Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jack Chunky and today we're going to do yet another property review. It is UCT3 at Batu Milan Churras. So yes, this is uh, UCT3. It's part of the larger UCT development. It's a project by OSK. And this is the final phase. The earlier two phases, right behind me, you have U Vista and also U Residence. So going back to this, uh, UCT3, you have actually two towers, very identical, 39 storeys for a total of 800 units of service apartments. And the bottom here is actually retail lots. Yeah. You actually can see uh, Pizza Hut already open for business. And you've got a few others also. I think it's a pharmacy down there the road. So this part of Cheras, right, but this is actually in Selangor. It's not in KL, despite uh, Cheras people know it as uh, being part of Kel. No, uh, this part here is actually in Selangor already. And this is not a totally new area to me because this area, I've actually reviewed Emerald 9. Yeah, also a very, very nice development. That is also first phase completed. So this is the final phase. And it, it has direct connectivity to MRT Taman Santex of the, of the Kajang MRT line. Okay? So yes, uh, without further ado, okay, no, wait, let me introduce the units first. So the smallest units uh, is 678 square feet, two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and it goes as big as 1,700 square feet plus plus for five plus one bedrooms and three bathrooms configuration. Okay, now that we have done the intro, let's head in, let's go. So we are within the compounds of UCT3. We just crossed the road. Uh, we were standing over there moments ago. So if you take the ramp up there, at the far end, you actually end up on level 2 and man. that's the lobby. Yeah, the lobby isn't on ground floor for Tower A and Tower B, the residence. It's not on this floor. Here, this floor, you have all your retail lots. Nevertheless, you can still go to the lobby, uh, but the pathway is rather awkward. So yes, uh, let me just take you through. It's a bit boring, but just to let you see how it is to go to the lift lobby. By the way, uh, OSK isn't in my list of good developers. Uh, not too keen of them because uh, this is again a previous history that I had with them. I actually have a property in Cyberjaya, Panja, uh, they were supposed to build a mall and unfortunately, up until today, the mall is still yet to be seen. And it was so bad that a group of buyers from the previous phase actually took them to court and I think they won a high court. Of course, the developer has appealed, it's now in a court of appeal. So that's always care property for you. Nevertheless, okay, let's go up. Uh, yes, 2M lobby. Let's go. Stepping out of the lift, we are on 2M. And in case if you are wondering why is the audio today much better than my previous videos, it's because today, for the first time, I'm using this Boya wireless microphone. Yeah. So this is my first equipment upgrade. Very excited. Uh, I've tested it, it sounds awesome. So yeah, hopefully this will be a good video uh, all videos will be good videos moving forward with clear audio clarity. And if you're interested to get this Boya microphone, uh, yes, do use the link below. Okay, so this is the lobby, very simple lobby. Yeah. Ceiling's rather low. I can almost touch it actually. Very close to touching it. And yes, this is the drop off. So if you turn from down there, right, uh, I was showing the ramp ground, ground floor. You would come up from here and you would end up here, Tower A. And from here, you actually can turn there, that heads into the parking, the ramp there for visitors and also residents. And this is the drop off area. Yeah. So, very, very. Hmm, Simple, bare, concrete finishing for the flooring. But that's quite nice. Uh, okay, now let's just 
take a step back a bit. So just VPN, very very new. VPN earlier this month, January. So it's less than a month since VP. And we are actually facing this Chiras Kajang Expressway just after the toll. Batus Mian toll. Yeah. And this is the MRT line. And just there, you can see uh, that's MRT Taman Santex. So it's directly connected to this development. Yeah. Okay, now that we have finished, we bring this part again, very simple lobby, not much. And you actually can go directly up to your unit from that lift just now. You don't need to come to this lobby actually, if you're coming from ground floor. There you have space for kindergarten, but it looks like they're using it for the developer. Yeah, okay, with all the plans there. So yes, without further ado, let's head up to the unit. Let's go. Stepping out of the lift, we are on the 37th floor. So very close to the top, just two stories below the top floor. Quite nice. Big window panels that looks out. This is your refuse room. Okay, yes, I'm going to show the refuse room. Normal refuse room. So this part in the lobby here is uh, much more simple. As a matter of fact, here looks a little bit too plain and dull, in my opinion, for this price range, right? Telephone room, riser, ELV, and you have a total of 14 units per floor. Yeah. Water meter room. So the four units are the bigger units, the four corners, one, two, three, four. That's a thousand square feet plus plus, I think just under thousand one. Uh, four bedrooms, three bathrooms. Uh, and then right beside, you got these two units, which are the smaller units. This is 608 square feet, two rooms, two bathrooms, and the others in, in between the intermediate are the three bedroom, two bathrooms, which is the unit that we're going to review. 890 square feet plus plus. Yeah. Walkway is rather tight. I think this is probably like the bare minimum. This five feet. Yeah. And yeah, we're lucky to be close to the top, so it's rather bright. These railings. So this allows more light in and out. There's the aircon latch. So the aircon latch, hmm. Never in favor of this. Uh, you notice how dangerous is it actually. So when whoever who installs it, right, the technicians, right, they need to really make sure that they are hooked up properly. Ideally, they should be uh, hooked inside within the building where they can hook themselves. A uh, few developments have that hook. So we'll see if this development has that hook. Let's go. So this is the unit that we will be reviewing. It's at 893 square feet. Three bedrooms, two bathrooms. So immediately at your entrance, this landing area. Oh, a bit irregular, the shape, if you notice. It's not a proper straight line towards the back. So putting, yeah. putting in that shoe cabinet might be a bit challenging. You got a, of course, a fire rated door. This is a bombard requirement. But the finishing isn't too good and it feels very rough. Yeah. Mm, yeah, I can see it's rough. It's bad, I would say. Mm, very, very rough. And I don't see the the bomba approval sticker or the fire rated, the fire rating that's that 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 plate. Hmm, interesting. Nevertheless, yes, let's continue. Uh, this is the kitchen, dry and wet. 
you have it both here. Again, 893 square feet, you don't have much room to play around. But one very interesting omission, uh, is really drawn out here, is that you don't have a hood and hop power point, which is basically a 15 amp for your hood, for your hop, sorry. And if you really want, then you need uh, another 20 amp ones for your microwave, uh, for your oven, sorry. For your oven, you need uh, 20 amps. That also is missing. But to me, the big omission is the 15 amps one for the hop, which is very common in most condos. Sprinkler, because this is a commercial title. Again, this is a service apartment. We've got retail lots at the bottom. Oh, starting to get noisy. Crap. Let's see if we can quickly wrap this up. Tight, pretty much like the unit M Vertica. Your space for your washing machine. Here, the top seems to be covered. So, if it's covered and there's no rain splashing in, really it's optional uh, to have additional windows. If you want, uh, it's really more for privacy. So people don't look and peep into your unit. This corner here would be for your washing machine. And I think... Here is too short just to have this given that you need to put your sink, your hood and hop. So you probably want an island here to extend this part here. And your dining, very traditional layout. Sprinkler again. No fan hook. You have a fan hook there though. Icon piping and point. Chint. This is from China. Fiber termination point. This is the view towards the back. So that's the previous uh, face, U Vista. U Vista, U residence is actually behind. And that's the guard house into U Vista. So this building here is still U Vista. And that's Emerald Mall. So Emerald Mall is also a big development. This is only phase one. There are multiple other blocks and there's also a huge uh, retail component to it at the bottom there uh, with lots of f &B. So once this is completed, right, that together with this, I guess my take is, I think it's going to be quite hot because there's a lot, there should be a lot of demand. There are a lot of houses, look at that. All this. Yeah. This will be the closest uh, F&B, you know, mall, neighborhood mall. Look at that. Yeah. So it's quite a big residential catchment behind here. Here, at the bottom here, you have a used car or rather a, a second-hand car dealer, yeah. Huge plot of land, when compared to the land beside. The bathroom. So the water closet, oh, this is a very interesting thing, the brand. So the brand of this is Acolia. If you have not heard of it, it's okay. Because this is the first time I'm hearing of it. And after doing some research, Acolia is actually a brand, a subsidiary under OHK Group. So yes, they actually created their own uh, business unit, uh, which does all this sanitary you know, wear business. And that makes sense, I guess, to supply to whatever projects that they have, right? Or they in, they in house it, they design their own, um, and it's manufactured in China, Ecolia. So the showroom, uh, no surprise, is actually in Acha Shopping Mall, which is also owned by OSK. 
and the registered office is in Plaza OSK in downtown uh, KLCC area. Yeah. Shower area. Power point here. And then interesting tile selection. Going to the first room. There's only one PowerPoint, <laughs> which I feel again is a bit sad that you have given at least two instead of only one. This goes up to the aircon latch for the. Hmm, let me see. My take is that it will be for the living room. Yeah. Uh, probably also the this room itself. Second guest room. So again, only one PowerPoint, uh, but I like the fact that they have a double window panel here. Yeah. And this double window panel, it basically looks out into your air well and not towards uh, your yard area. But uh, it's direct, of course, the you know, walkway is there, so you probably keep it closed most of the time with your curtains closed for privacy. No fan hook and a single PowerPoint. I find that a bit really sad. <laughs> and this, a master bedroom. So laminate timber flooring. So one very big misconception of, of, of this laminate timber flooring is that laminate timber flooring, the top surface is solid timber. No, it's not. Yeah, so the laminate timber flooring, okay, I, you can't tell from this uh, video, but actually all these are actually printed high resolution pictures of real wood printed on top. Yeah. Uh, and the bottom of it is actually HDF core, which is high density fiberboard core. So it's processed high density fiber fiberboard. Of course, it's made from uh, wood. Uh, you know all those uh, leftovers. You know where they process and they compress it, sawdust basically. That's how they come up with HDF, the HDF core. And on top, as I say, it's printed. And then of course, they put a very thin layer of. Uh, sort of protective layer to protect this printing. A step better uh, than this would be engineered timber flooring. So engineered timber flooring is a layer of actual veneer, solid wood. And of course the best is solid timber flooring where the whole piece is made from a solid thick wood. Bathroom. So of course the same uh, fin uh, same brand uh, Ecolia by OSK. The shower area and you got this big window panel. So this big window uh, leads out to your aircon latch, your very dangerous aircon latch, yeah. Which you have no railings there. And it's shared with the unit beside. So you need to make sure this is always, always locked or not. People can uh, easy to go into, climb into your unit with security. Okay, so yes, that sums up the review of this unit here. And UCT3, the last phase of the UCT by OSK property. If you're interested to get this unit, do reach out to my good friend Miko, the gorgeous Miko. Her contact is below in the description. Now that we're finished reviewing this unit, 
Let's head down and check out the facilities. Let's go. Stepping out of the lift, we are on the 10th floor. So this is the main facilities floor. There are no other facilities floor. Nothing at the top, nothing in the middle. Only this floor, yeah. And immediately you have a very interesting lobby, lift lobby design. And if it isn't clear enough, this basically mimics the interior of a MRT train. Although the artwork isn't too, too refined, rather crude, I would say. But nevertheless, yes, very interesting. Uh, first of its kind, I haven't seen an interior painted, hand painted uh, MRT for a lift lobby. And yes, that's the map. And since we have the map there, let me just zoom in and explain a bit. So we are at some text, the one in the yellow here. And this Kajang line, right, there are actually a lot of new properties which I reviewed uh, not too long back. The next station, uh, Taman Konak. Taman Konak, you actually have Esther Residence. Yeah, another transit oriented, very, very nice development. Love that. Uh, of course, Taman Santec itself also has Emerald Line. Uh, the next station, Taman Mutiara. Taman Mutiara, if I'm not mistaken, that houses uh, Eco Chiras Mall. And on top of Eco Chiras Mall, you also have a condo. Eco Chiras Residence or the service apartment. Next to it, uh, Taman Mida, Taman Mida, another of my favorite, uh, Ate Chiras, very stylo Milo uh, condo or Soho rather. Taman Patama, that should be Taman Patama. I think there's a wrong spelling there, Taman Patanu. Uh, Maluri, yes, Maluri, a lot of condos there also within walking distance. You have uh, M Vertica, you have Una, Laville, Sunway Velocity 2. Really, really cool place. Of course, Sunway Velocity Mall itself is also there. And one step further, you have Cochrane as the next station. That has one Cochrane before finally reaching to TRX, the financial hub of KL, the new financial hub. So all in all, from Taman Santex to TRX is only seven stations. Uh, if you take train, it's about 20 odd minutes. And if you include the walking distance, right, from your unit to there and to the office, I would say all in all, probably 30 to 35 minutes in to in, yeah, from Taman Santex to TRX. And then, of course, you have other stations. You go to Ambuke Bintang, you know, Museum Nagara, Pasar Seni, and so on and so forth. Uh, yes, very interesting interior. So that is, I think this is a good reminder to serve, you know, the key, one of the key selling points of this development, that it is a transit oriented development directly connecting to the MRT Kajang line. Nice. This part is a bit of a waste in my opinion. Uh, why I say so, it's because I think they should have gone all out to make it complete. Yeah, you can actually actually put stickers. You do custom made stickers, right? And you don't do solid stickers. You can do those uh, perforated ones with those holes, so you can still see through uh, both ways. Actually, uh, light can go in and come out, and you basically do basically continue on with the whole picture, lah. Right? You know, the train itself, red, and then on top you do your sky and your buildings. Then it will look really nice. Then it will really look seamless. Yeah. And to make it really nice that if they want to, you actually can make that as a light box. Tower A lights up. You know? That'd be really, really nice. But this painting, uh, this hand painted artwork is also all around this floor. Yeah, not just for your lift lobby. So even these pillars look simple ones of high rise buildings, you know. MRT line again. But this paintwork outside is much better somehow, I feel. The, the details, the attention to details. While the one at the lift lobby there is rather crude actually. 
Okay, let's not waste too much time on that. Uh, playground, tree house playground. They call this a tree house playground. Uh, okay, that's the tree house. <laughs> a simple one. Uh, yes, that is Emerald Line. Yeah. And these two are the earlier two phases of UCT, which is uh, U Vista and U Residence. So it, those two were completed. Uh, let me think, eight, seven, eight years ago? 2015, 2016, if I'm not mistaken. Sorry, that's nine, eight years ago. And yeah, let's walk on. So this is the library. This is also where they do their key collection. Uh, today's a public holiday, in case you're wondering. Uh, hence, even though it's just VP, this room is not in use yet. Decently yeah. nice. Yeah, this library. Very bright, very cheerful. No books yet. Hopefully, they will furnish it soon enough. Hmm. Look at that. Immediately, you can tell, right? Books, you know, it's a library. Let's see what else do we have here. At a glance, uh, decent landscaping. Okay, this is Cheras Kajang Expressway, and that's the toll. Yeah. And that's this should be level 2M. You have a rain shower facility. And that's the main pool. 50 meter lap pool, Olympic size. Viewing deck that can go down here. Ah, oh, it's a bit hot. Let's move in. And again, you got this red brick uh, facade. These are actually not real red bricks but instead it's a veneer only red brick veneer so it's only this thick yeah, can you see it's only this thick we just plaster it on yeah. but looks authentic looks legit because there's enough uh, texture also to it and in between just put all your your cement so from afar, looks like the real thing. What else? What else? There is supposed to be a BBQ pit in this area here. Okay, we'll check out that later. Let's check out this first. You have two karaoke rooms. Oh. It's been clean. Okay, let's check out the other one. Turn on the lights. Decent. Decent with a bar counter here. Although there's no there's no sink. Switching off. Okay. 
Ну а типа пасхов? You can see the, the flooring, right? The laminate flooring isn't the best of qualities and yet and hence uh, starts to walk for a new property. This is a bit sad. Yeah, it's not, if it's a good one, you can see it really uh, flat and seamless, right? But this you can see the poor quality. Usually for, for the facilities floor, they would use uh, solid timber flooring or much, much better material yeah. compared to the unit. If the unit is using laminate timber flooring, there's a good probability for this. Usually they put uh, good, nice tiles or if they want to do that timber feel, right? They'll put solid timber flooring instead of uh, laminate timber flooring. Uh, this is supposed to be a BBQ pit, but I don't see the BBQ pit. I think it would be those mobile uh, BBQ stations. You have a sink there. Uh, <laughs> hmm. And there's no table, no preparation table, no serving table, no chairs. And of course, you have this around to sit, but not that conducive, in my opinion. This is your wading pool. Just beside, not too bad, still okay. Uh, Although I would like it to be nearer to the main pool. And let's check out this. How do I go in? Go oh, from the other side. This is the gym. And again, inside the gym also have a lot of artwork. Hand painted. Oh, there's another entrance there, so it's a dual entrance. What do you think? Sufficient? And beside, it looks like a dance studio. Shading out. Oh, nice. Look at that. Super Mario. Yeah. The Super Mario. Uh, so, Super Mario is actually a very old game. Uh, <laughs> you have to be old enough to know this game. Uh, it came out back in 1985. And one interesting fact about Super Mario, right, is that Super Mario or Mario. His original name was actually Jumpman and he appeared as a character in Donkey Kong, the, the first game, so a few years before the release in 1985 of Super Mario. So if you know that, you are a true legend, you are probably around my age. But yes, uh, Super Mario, look at that. You know, all the coins. Uh, what else? Do you have your mushroom here? Yes, your mushroom is over there. Yeah. And the, Mar the name Mario is actually named after the Landlord that the uh, Nintendo headquarters is, hence the name uh, Super Mario. Okay, I want to check out the toilet. The toilet's also quite nice. Yeah. So this is the toilet. Ah, so very unique uh, toilet setup. So the wash basins in the middle, male changing room. And then there's your water closets. You have a sauna also. So this is the sauna. Let's see how is it. Ah. Decent. No? Not the smallest. Average size. So although the pit uh, works are still in progress, of course, some rectification works here and there. Like this part of the 
wall, right? You can see still not painted yet. Yeah. So still pretty much in progress, I would say. Management office. Again, it's a public holiday today. It's closed. Laundry. Always one of the hardest business to do. Uh, let's close it up because it's not operating yet. It's very obvious, right? I mean, I, I like how they've done all this mural to depict what this whole place is, right? You know, you have uh, okay, the toilet's not right, uh, but you look at the library, you look at this laundry. Very nice. Surrounds towards the back. Okay, let me take a quick peek into the surau. So you got a female and a male one. The tumpa udo is actually here. So it's uh, separated from the, the prayer room itself. Uh, look at that. It's quite okay. Uh, it's carpeted. So that's, that's nice. And what do we have some more? Here, okay, that is tower B, lift lobby. I understand yet to VP. This is supposed to be after Chinese New Year. They're going to VP this block. Uh, power cost. Yeah. And you have a half court, basketball court. Yeah. You think it's high enough? <laughs> the fencing towards the back. You know, I don't play basketball and I'm terrible at it. If I were to airball it, what's the chances of it going over? <laughs> That'd be a bit scary. Because it's going to go down really, really high. Because we're quite high up. Okay, no, you still have your 2M. Ah, uh, yes. So that's the connecting bridge. Uh, that's the connecting bridge, yeah. MRT Taman Sun Packs. So this is a ride and park station. Although there are not too many uh, parking lots that you can see there. This is a bit off. I mean, yeah, this basketball for that, but yeah, I guess this is the best wall. I don't think so there's any wall there. So yes, that sums up the review of this property. Uh, what can I say? It's quite unique. Uh, I like the mural, the artwork. You know, that I feel is a very unique point. Uh, but going back to the unit itself, you know, uh, pretty, yeah, pretty much a normal unit, I would say. Nothing really spectacular. If you ask me what's the key selling point, yes, I would say, again, it's a transit-oriented development. And this line, this Kajang line, there are a lot of transit-oriented developments that I, what I explained earlier, you know. You've got Esther, and then further up, you've got Ate, you got, you know, Ambatika, you know, one residence, hey, one Cochrane. So a lot of choices, a really spot for choices. This one, uh, the key selling point, besides the transit-oriented development like the others, it of course has its own retail right at the bottom. Not too big, uh, it's a sort of a neighbourhood type of style, the size, I would say, if I understand correctly, is 170,000 square feet of net letterable area. And you have a key few businesses, which I already confirmed, the likes of Starbucks, Coffee Bean, uh, Mr. DIY, you've got fast food, Pizza Hut, you've got pharmacy. So if it's fully occupied, hopefully, which I believe it has the potential, uh, given the location, yeah, then it'd be a really compelling point to, to, to own a unit here and to stay here or even, you know, to rent it out as, a, as an investment. Okay, so yes, if you're interested to get the unit here, do reach out to Miko and her team. Uh, very, very friendly. Uh, pretty gorgeous, Miko. And yes, leave your uh, thoughts in the comments below. Let me know what you think about this development. And last but not least, if you have found this video useful, 
please do share with your friends and families. Uh, do of course like the video, smash the like button. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, do subscribe to my channel. Thank you and see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.